farm hands, Farmer Reeker. Welcome back uh, to the Phoenix 700. So in today's episode, um, we're going to start adding some active carbon in here to clean up uh, all this fog. I don't want to mix the salt until I have this all cleaned up. Plus, the sumps downstairs aren't full yet because when I go to add the salt here, it's going to start overflowing into uh, the overflow boxes and down to the basement. So I want to try to mix as much of the salt up in here as I can, and then I can start adding more water because this is a big volume and 850 uh, gallons of water altogether. So what we're going to do today, um, we're going to use some, some uh, Pulp Lab uh, Pro Carbon. We're going to add it to a couple reactors, just stick a couple reactors up on top of the tank. And we're going to let uh, the active carbon uh, polish up that water so it's nice and crystal clear. And plus what's awesome about this here, it takes out all the, the smells as well. I don't know if you've ever seen that, walk into someone's house, if they have a reef tank, you can smell it in the air. This will help take out all of the smell as well. So if I go with a mixed reef here, I want to make sure I'm always running active carbon because what it does, it pulls any of the toxins that's in the water because there's always like a warfare going back and forth. A lot of the corals that we have in our tanks are all different parts of the world and then the oceans and they're not together so they're not used to having those toxins. And like if I just want to do like an SPS tank, if you guys see, a lot of people just keep SPS because they don't want to have all those different toxins coming up all the LPS different corals that can uh, really trigger and you know mess with their uh, the pulp extension and then they die out because of those toxins. But if you're running a nice uh, mixed reef, try to make sure you're running your, your carbon so it sucks out all those toxins out of the water and polishes it at the same time. So that's what's great is the Polyp Lab Pro Carbon. It comes in different sizes. Uh, this one's a thousand mil, this one's 500 mil. And uh, this picture beside me here, you can see it comes in a great big bulk as well. And that's when running uh, on the 700 is bulk. I have uh, a roll bucket here just full to show you guys. What's awesome about this stuff, it comes in one millimeter beads. Um, I'll show you a picture of it up and close. So with the one millimeter beads, you get less dust and it's a lot easier to handle. A lot of the other carbons are all, it's all crushed. It's not as nice to work with, but this one here is beautiful, a one millimeter bead. So that means less dust. So I got, uh, I got a reactor here. I have, uh, this one here is the fluid uh, Deltec reactor. So we're gonna pack this full and with carbon, you don't want it tumbling because if it tumbles, it creates more dust. You want to make sure it's packed so the water goes straight through, back up and clean right into your tank. And how we're going to power this Deltec today, um, I got a, I've got a return pump here. This one here is the, the 1073.20A uh, Tunzi return pump. It's a great pump. So that's what we're going to use to feed the reactor. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill up that reactor with the, with the carbon. I'm just going to put it up on the tank, plug it in and just let it do its thing. I might uh, grab another uh, reactor as well, put one on each end just to help speed up this process. And I'm gonna try to do a little time lapse video of the carbon cleaning this day tank from the fog and hopefully it's a crystal clear. So let's go ahead and do that now, guys. All right, so here's the Deltec reactor. This is the FR509. So let's just open that up and get the, everything apart here. So what I like to do is I like to plug the end of the end of the pipe here so we don't get any carbon down in the middle I just have a bolt and just stuck it in there um, so here's the here's the carbon I get in the bulk it's pretty nice you can check it out I'll put some close-up pictures so you guys actually can see it better um, so we're just gonna fill this reactor right to the top see how nice it is with the beads it's so easy less mess less dust So you want to make sure it's packed, packed tight. Keep that center. Keep your pipe in the middle here. So you put it together. Just a little bit more. All right, we'll try that. See how that fits up here. So it just to slide. So that should be good for that one. So we'll put our foam back in. Put our top here back in, and we'll put the put the cover back on.
just like that. So there we go. We got one reactor full of carbon. So now let's get this one all hooked up. And then I'm probably going to do one more. I really want to get this uh, show on the road. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, before I go, this is, uh, here's the seat. This is the, the thousand mil. And this is uh, the 500. Pretty great stuff. Best carbon I've used so far. Great farm hands. I got the Deltec reactor. It's all installed. So I'll show you, uh, check it all out, how it's starting to filter. It's going to be awesome. Guys. All right, so we got the Deltec reactor. It's all hooked up. I got, I got it on full blast here. You guys can see the flow going on. And uh, you guys see there, it's just a little foggy, so hopefully get this all cleaned up. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna make sure I time-lapse all this so we can see it go from cloudy to clear. Hey farm hands, so we're back. I've been letting the carbon run for a couple days now. As you guys can see, the tank looks great compared to when it did start, but it was really, really foggy. So that's when I ended up putting the, the Polyplav Carbon 1. This one here, getting all different sizes. I buy it in bulk. For uh, this one here, I run one cup for every 100 gallons of water. So when I'm just running this one, it's like seven cups plus the sump. I just put in uh, my fluid reactors like the Deltec that I showed you guys that I set up. But look at it, turned out. It's perfectly beautiful clear now. It looks great. And uh, just because that Polyblab Carbon 1, man, that stuff is really, really good. And I like because it's a one millimeter beats. So this is the episode this week, guys. Uh, I'm going to do a time lapse of the whole uh, cycle of the Polyblab Carbon cleaning the water right from when it was really cloudy till perfect crystal clear. So thanks for tuning this week, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you stay, uh, stay tuned for the next episodes that are coming up. Please subscribe and hit the like button.